welcome all of you with my love and blessings. And today, Nirahara Samyama, third level, successfully going fourth day. <laughs> the power of devotees, devotion, feeling connection, they are sitting all over the world, I tell you honestly, never ever this Nirahara Samyama was tried in distance because only when you are in the presence of the master the whole day feeling connection can be maintained and this samyama is related to whole day process no master would have dared to try this samyama I trust your feeling connection with me so I dare So many people all over the world just thanks to this video conferencing and this VC, hmm? am I right? VC facility. I tell you this whole software, this whole company is blessed. <laughs> all the punya which comes from this Neragara Samyama, I give it to this company which does who are responsible, who are all responsible for both of us seeing each other. We see video, whoever is responsible. Let this punya go to them. See, it is because of this technology, I am able to take this risk of putting you guys into the space. Please understand, See, for your bio memory to listen to my words and live without food, directly creating energy from the space and ether is not a joke. Because by second level Samyama itself, you won't lose weight. You will stop losing weight. It means what? Directly, the, you see, losing weight and fasting is not a big thing. You are fasting, you are not eating anything, but you are not losing weight. It means the energy is directly being produced from the ether, from the prana, from the space. First level samyama and second level samyama half, till half, you will lose weight because the unnecessary fat will reduce. That burning will happen. By one week, it's like a, that few days also is that bird, when it unclutches from the stick, it needs to balance. Those few days only, you will be losing weight. Once you balance, that's it. You guys are more worthy than the trust I have on you guys. My trust is very orthodox and measured with the weakest link of you. No, I am really... Enjoying the whole process. I can tell you really, when this Nirahara Samyama is successful, I'll be able to put you guys in the teleporting, materialization, all this in a very easily. And if you guys are successful in Nirahara Samyama, I can easily initiate you into healer without physical presence. Through internet I can give healing initiation. Because for the Nirahara Samyama to be successful, that level of connection has to be established. Otherwise, what am I doing? Morning I am sitting with you for 10 minutes and instructing your bio memory. Let you awaken, rediscover the capacity to produce prana, energy, directly from ether. That's all. Great. Let's start the satsang. We will enter into the Questions by Inner Awakening Participants. The first question today is from Ma Kirtika, IAID number 49. She is asking, Dear Swamiji Pranam, could you please tell us the significance of idol Abhishekam? Why are we doing milk, honey, vibhuti and chandan Abhishekam? What are we achieving during this idol Abhishekam? We are pouring milk on the top of this idol where lot of people don't even have milk to drink. 
Is it okay to still do this? I apologize if I am hurting people's sentiments. Thank you. Nityanandam Kirtika. Kirtika 49. <laughs> First thing, so many things you need to understand from this question. She is asking, Swamiji, could you please tell us the significance of idol Abhishegam? Abhishegam means the sacred bath. We are not doing sacred bath to idol. We are doing it for deity. There is a big difference. There is a statue. If you are pouring it on the statue, it is pouring on idol. But you are not pouring on that statue. You are saying, O oh Shiva, O oh Devi, you pour it on that idol, seeing deity in it, God in it. The moment you see God in the idol, it becomes deity. It is no more idol. Please correct. There is so much of emotion, feeling connection, sentiment associated with it. That's first. Why are we doing this Abhishegam, this sacred bath? Please understand, if you have not lived with the deities, connected through deities, try it. Only then you will understand. Only then you will understand as long as you have a body, you can also see God only with body. Till you feel you have a body, you can't see God without a body, without a form. So deity is a way through which you connect with ultimate. I tell you, we don't worship idols, we worship through idols. We don't worship deities, we worship through deities, through the deity. We relate to the ultimate, to the divine. You are asking, why do we pour all this? See, it's like when you feel the divine has descended in the form of deity to bless you. You feel like, what can I give when God is in front of me? Only this little bit of honey, milk. See, these are the products of those days. Those days a man may work whole day. What is the final his productivity? Milk, which he gets from cow. He may be living in the forest and going around whole day searching for food. What is his productivity? Honey. So whatever is, is fruit of his life, he is offering to divine. Whatever he thinks as best fruits, the honey, milk, whatever is his life's productivity, he is offering it to divine. He is giving it away to God. As the offering of our sacred sentiments, we are pouring this milk, honey, water, vibhuti, all that on the deities as our offering to divine. You are asking a question. We are pouring milk on top of these deities where a lot of people don't have milk to drink. Is it okay to still do this? I will answer this question. In a public function, some of the cine celebrities were asking me the same question. And so many people don't have milk to drink. Why are we pouring milk on Prani Murugan? I said, stop. Why can't you guys cut down in your cinema publicity budget? When so many people don't have cloth, why are you guys wasting so much of cloth as a party flags? When so many people don't have food, why are you guys wasting so much of money? In cinema publicity, when a cinema gets released, the amount of rice used for paste, pasting their poster, can be given for so many people to eat. Why are you guys continuously cutting into only my budget? <laughs> now come on, now this seriously has to be thought through. There is so much of money being wasted in publicizing cricket, so much of money is being wasted in publicizing cinema and all right, all over India, all temples, all milk we pour 
on the date you all put together will not cost more than one crore a day. I challenge you. What about 1,76,000 crore corruption? Why don't you guys ask them to cut down their budget? Because you can't ask them about all this. You are asking me to cut my budget. Go and ask them who swindle the country. So much of it is 1,76,000 crore which is stored in many countries, if it is brought back to India, we can have four-way road connecting all villages of India. We can have hospital literally in all villages of India. Poverty can be wiped out. And apart from this, something as per the official report, of Indian government agencies, some two, three agencies have given an official report just few days before, I think uh, maybe a month or two months before they have given a report. I think they themselves agree, 40 lakh crore Indian money is sitting outside India as a black money. Illegally earned black money. Why don't you guys bother about this 40 lakh crore instead of bothering about my one crore? Where is 40 lakh crore? Where is 1 crore? Everybody, everybody's eyes are burning. Oh, we are pouring the milk, we are pouring the milk, we are pouring the milk. Come on, it all put together will be less than 1 crore. Yes, now I have a, a report in front of my eyes. The My Economist is giving the report. 1456 billion dollar I don't know how many lakh crore you take you calculate 1456 billion dollar property is only in Swiss bank actually there are many other countries having Russia 470 billion all that all other countries put together even then he is not able to equate India. Why don't you guys ask all of them? Let all that money come back. Let all the money wasted on the publicizing cricket. Let that be stopped. Let all the money wasted in the cinema publicity and so much of milk is poured on the cine heroes posters and cutouts. Let all that be stopped, then I will also stop. Ours is not even, a, it's such a negligible percentage. This amount is 13 times more than the country's foreign debt. If this is brought back, the whole country's foreign debt will be finished 13 times. God. Anyhow, so, all the people who are questioning, why can't we stop this ritual, that festival, that pouring milk, this pouring water, this pouring honey? All you guys now go and question your MLA, MPs, government. Why can't we get our money back? Why can't we get our black money back to India? You go and talk to them. After they give answer, I will give my answer. Next. The next question is from Sendil Kumar T, IAID number 92. He is asking respected Swamiji, why am I attributing my joy, pleasure, happiness to the objects? What stops me from attributing it to the self or inner being? Sandhil Kumar, it is your patterns. It is your patterns that is stopping you attributing your joy to the self. From the young age, you are made to believe by your parents, joy comes from outside objects. This is the inherited pattern. Neither they believed joy, joy comes from inside, nor their forefathers believed joy comes from inside. 
So they inherited the pattern, joy comes from outside. You inherited the same pattern. It is like inherited pattern. The only way to get out of this pattern and realize the joy comes from inner being. Put your kids to Gurukul. There we will teach them. My Gurukul kids, the inherited pattern they get is joy comes from inside. From the beginning, we teach them this truth. Joy comes from inside. And of course, you cannot come back to Gurukul. That is difficult. <laughs> the only way for you is meditate, unclutch and break free from this pattern. Because it is inherited, it takes little time to break. Nothing but pattern. It is a simple pattern. That joy comes from outside. Once I learnt a few words of English from Raghupati Yogi. And I wanted to test that wo those words. And I went and tested on Ram Surat Kumar. The words I learnt is some Ten words I learnt and I myself tried to make a st sentence. So he was, Ram Suratmar was sitting and smoking. He used to smoke village cigarette. You call it surutu in Tamil. Cigar. Hmm? So he was smoking that and it will, God, you can't tolerate that smell. But you know, when he releases the smoke, there will not be any smell. That's a surprising thing. So, I went and sat near him. I was not completely confident about my English. See, when kids start speaking new language, you will see that they will not only believe their words, they will try to be showing in through hand also. So, I was touching his cigarette and asking, why are you smoking? I was showing in my body language, why are you smoking? For pleasure, these are the few words I learnt. For pleasure, you see I am showing in my body language, why are you taking the smoke in for pleasure? He laughed, he can speak English very fluently, he laughed and he understood I am trying my English on him. And he said, see it is a very beautiful answer, he said smoking inside not outside. <laughs> see the meaning he meant, it's the pleasure, it's not from going from outside to inside, it's coming from outs inside to outside. And he blew the, blew the smoke on me. <laughs> Finally, the idea he conveyed, please understand, this ex exactly I am describing as it happened. I learnt a few words, I am going and trying on Ram Swarup Kumar. I am touching his cigar and asking, why are you smoking? I am showing as if that smoke is going from outside to inside for pleasure. Then he says, pleasure, smoking inside, uh, then he blew the smoke and showing, smoke is only coming from inside to outside. So the pleasure is also coming inside to outside, not from outside to inside. I think you can understand this only if you see the, visualize the scene. Because the words are not used much. But I got the truth, whatever he was trying to tell. He made it like a very funny way. I am not taking the smoke from outside to inside, I am only blowing the smoke from inside to outside. So the pleasure is also not coming from outside to inside, it is only coming from inside to outside. Anyhow, I stopped testing my English on him after that. <laughs> but even in this small incident, the great truth he taught, the pleasure is not from outside to inside, it's from inside to outside. It is simply the belief given to you. Like, see there are some mass hysteric beliefs. The first mass, mass hysteric belief is currency. MHB, 
mass hysteric beliefs. What is currency? The mass has decided to believe in it hysterically without using logic. To tell you honestly, we, the country in India, I am talking about India because I am sitting in India, the India, we had the lifestyle of food, cloth, medicine, everything self-sustaining. Please understand, every Indian villager had, village had doctors. Until the British invasion, our longevity, means the number of years we were living, is larger than the today's India's longevity. Maybe I can give you some authentic statistics by tomorrow, day after tomorrow by doing research. Means our food, clothing, medicine, everything, we were self-sustained. Unfortunately, when the different lifestyle is forced on us, we are made to believe we are poor. It is like a, you don't have this Rudraksha, but you have bigger Rudraksha of this like this. But I somehow force and make you believe only with this Rudraksha you are rich. Not with that one. And then I dangle this carrot in front of you. Dangle this Rudraksha in front of you and make you give that Rudraksha and the cloth you are wearing and finally shave your head also and then give one small piece of this Rudraksha to you. This is what exactly happening. Our belief system, when it was disturbed and when you started believing this, this, this all is required for pleasure. This, this, this all is making me comfortable. This, this, this all makes me live healthy. We did not have cancer. These fellows sent cancer and then they are sending cancer cure medicines and missionaries. For both we will have to pay. First, first they send cancer in the name of the fertilizer and pesticides. For that also we have to pay. Then they send cancer medicine and missionaries to cure cancer. For that also we have to pay. Understand, it is our belief system. When that was damaged, I tell you, India was highly protected by the invincible spiritual knowledge and belief system. When that got destroyed and disturbed, then naturally they are able to put their ideas about health into you, their ideas about dressing into you, their ideas about eating into you, their ideas about pleasure into you, their ideas about everything into you. When their ideas about everything got into your system, now naturally you have to be paying continuously to them. The money, currency, when you are needed to continuously pay them, naturally your currency will not have value. It is the spiritual slavery, spiritually losing your strength, that was the original sin, after which everything started, this mass hysteric belief of currency. Please understand, mass hysteric belief of currency. I have some of the statistics to share with you guys. In 1800, India had 20 lakh weavers and mining was a major industrial activity. But in 1820, within 20 years, Indian mining industry has collapsed because of British policies. And for around 100 years, we were not allowed to 
grow any agriculture products other than cotton. Whatever cotton was produced will go to British. Anyhow, I am not talking political thing. I am not against London or I am not against UK or it is not that I am, I am all for all these politicians of India, what they are doing, no. Just now in the last question I criticized these Indian politicians, the money they bundle up and keep there. All I am trying to tell is, the only way for the revival, India to save itself, is a revival of spiritual truths. That is the only way even the world will be saved, because only India can supply the spiritual truths to the world. First, India needs to revive itself and then radiate it to the world. That is the only solution for all these problems of mass hysteric beliefs. Currency is one of the mass hysteric beliefs. And attachment to your blood progeny means to your blood son, your biological sons or your biological uh, daughters. This is also another one mass hysteric belief. Why can't we start adopting kids? If you adopt and bring them up, they are going to have the same gratitude and love, attachment. The kids whom you gave birth, but somehow the whole world is made to believe, no, only you are, you are, you are. Take the percentage of adopted kids being grateful and loving and respectful and the biological kids respectful, grateful, surely it will be adopted. Adopted will be more loving and respectful because the number is very less. Anyhow, I am not saying we should start only adoption and stop producing. All I am saying is at least intelligent community can stop producing. See, there are, there is, there are a bunch of people who will not listen who will not bother about the way we are producing more and more human beings, we are heading towards mass suicide. There is going to be a time when we don't have basic needs, what will happen? So there are people who won't bother about all this, that Swajanam, Swajanam, my people, my people will not stop. So you can't do anything with those group. But at least the intelligent group can stop producing and start working more on adoption. So that, you see, already we have 7 billion, am I right? 7, 7 billion? 7 billion, 700 crore. Hmm? Already we crashed 7 billion. And why can't we be a little more intelligent and say that first let us provide food, clothing, shelter, medical care and peaceful living for the 7 billion and then let us produce more till then stop production that should have been the logical thing and India still we don't even have a legal policy I am not even saying stop production at least make a law that don't produce more than one or two India does not have any law. What to do? This mass hysteric beliefs are only called Maya, delusion. The pleasure comes from outside is also a mass hysteric belief. Pleasure comes from inside is truth. Pleasure comes from outside is mass hysteric belief. How many people have the courage and confidence because of the currencies they have, you know? <laughs> but I tell you, currencies are not supposed to be source of your strength and currency is not strength also. 
this life which is strength. Paramahamsa Nityananda, a rare living incarnation, is named among the world's hundred most spiritually influential personalities today. Paramahamsa Nityananda has been placed alongside Dalai Lama, Nelson Mandela, 